guys, welcome back. It is Sister Guard. We're going to be playing some uh, Bio Ink Redemption. The reason I wanted to play this is, uh, I mentioned before, I am actually a nurse in real life. Um, so I wanted to kind of play it as a nurse. Um, I have played this game, obviously, because I'm level 7 down there. Um, I will tell you that the realistically of this is meh, but it still be fun. So we got a terminal patient, we have to keep them alive for as many days as physically possible. We're gonna do moderate level. I'm gonna do a girl. I really don't care. Economy wise, get it starting XP. We're gonna start with that because I feel like so the starting one we picked is we get to start the bio stage with 15 points. I think we should have that because as a nurse. There are things that we already know ahead of time. People start coming in with stuff. We already have tests we can start running that day, that moment. Um, diseases, no. Lifestyle, um, start stage with two random upgrader lifestyles. You always hope people have good lifestyles in all honesty. No, no, no. So, but we are gonna start with that because that will give us a bit of an advantage. Um, emergency room tests are cheaper, treatments cheaper, intensive care operations are more effective. Now, I don't want them to get to that point. That, that's not a good point for them to be at. Um, I am going to put resource upgrades are 50% cheaper. Um, that way, so we can get them quickly. Although, real medicine is not cheap. I'm well aware of this. This is not the fault of nurses, of doctors. This is the deal with insurance and the business of it. Ooh, I got an achievement. Freebie. Okay. Jane Doe's emergency... Keep Jane Doe alive for 150 days. Jane Doe has been admitted to the emergency room is in critical state. Do whatever it takes to keep Jane Doe alive for 150 days. So, terminal patient. I've dealt with terminal patients before having hospice. So, we just need to keep her alive. Okay. Let's see. We already start with 300. Ooh, or 30. Um, let's run an ultrasound. Let's get some blood pressure. Metabolic. Because we've got nine, which means this thing is probably full. So we're going to run a lot of tests on that one. 11. Oh, I did not even see that. Stethoscope exam. That will give us a start. Flu test. Oh, we already gotten that one. Let's go down here and do infectious disease. I'll go ahead and do a flu test so we can get the swine flu one out of the way. And that'll at least give us a starting point. Oh, we've got lots of tests running. Um, positive for the flu. Who knew? Uh, cool. Uh, we don't have enough points for that. I need one more. Pretty much we're going to be getting points to keep her alive. She has hypertension. She does not have angina. Which, all. What this game is talking about with some of these diseases. Woohoo! We're a hot mess, aren't we? We're negative for all that. Okay, let's pause the game for a moment, see what we got going on. Okay, cheapest stuff to treat flu. Two points, easy. Flu, unfortunately, the treatment for that, even in real life, is rest. Most people, um, myself included, don't want to do that. Um, I'm not a big fan, so H1N1. Again, it's the flu. You gotta rest. Um, this is only saying it's 75% efficient. I'm not gonna pick that one because, yes, in real life, rest is most efficient. Antivirals, all they do is just get you, help you get over it faster. It does not cure it. You can actually make it a lot worse sometimes. Um, blood clots. So you do have blood clots. So anticoagulants. Anticoagulants, but blood clots. There are certain situations where this does not apply. But we're going to go ahead and do that so we can, we have the points for that. Pretty much we're getting points so we can uh, slow down the effects of some of this. Cool pulmonary issues, it's good. We're still having, woohoo, tuberculosis and pneumonia. So this person, if they really had tuberculosis and pneumonia, they would actually be put into an isolation room because tuberculosis is highly contagious. Um, and when I mean highly, I mean breathing the same air as this person. 
can cause issues. We have enough. We don't have enough blood thinners, and we definitely don't have enough of that one. Before we can get this one started, get her some relief there. I want to get the upgrade soon. Ooh, big points. Big, big points. We treated diseases. Cool, and these are the bio maps. See what else we can treat. We're still getting 10 on this one. That one's rough. Let's go ahead and get the antiviral drugs going. Okay. Next one, we need six for antibiotics for pneumonia and tuberculosis. Let's go ahead and get that six for that one so we can slow down that decrease. The thing I like about this game is when you go to gather stuff, you can just click and hold, and if it's stuff's adjacent. Cool. All right, we definitely got enough for those treatments. Um, oh, we're doing respiratory. Let's go ahead and prescribe them that. So that'll let me slow that down. Can we get anything? Oh, we can. Clawbusters. Cool. Let's get clawbusters. Let's get that deep vein thrombosis taken care of. So deep vein thrombosis. I'm going to click on it real quick. Deep vein thrombosis occurs when a blood clot, a thrombus, forms in one or more deep veins in the body, causing usually in your legs. This is from people not moving around in bed or people who have a very sedentary lifestyle. Um, deep vein thrombosis can cause leg pain, swelling, but may occur without any symptoms. I have seen all of the above occur. And sometimes you'll have swelling that's related to other stuff. Sometimes people just don't have really good circulation. We're going to start testing over here. I'm going to go ahead and do a physical exam. Because um, we're waiting on some more point values for that other stuff. And this is going down like a brick. So, all right. And we don't have to cure him. We just have to make him feel better. Uh, no, physical exam came back negative. I think we have, nope, involve one or more intensive care items. Um, intensive care, oh. So they don't want to buy these. I'll buy one. Does it unlock my upgrade? Yes, it does. I don't have enough points. I need like one more point and we can get double. Let's go ahead and upgrade this. So we can get some more points over time. We really need to work on our respiratory. We're getting into critical zone and I really don't want it to fail because then it starts having a catastrophic effect. How much did we need for that respiratory? Nine. Ah, oh, we need two more. Two more. Two more. Luckily, we slowed it down enough that it seems to be doing okay. Cool. Definitely have enough now. All right, let's get her going. Prescribe that. Next one we got to focus on is getting, because we only have 15. I need two more and we can fix that. All right, awesome. Uh, where else do we have in deficit? This is at 20%, so this will be... Let's go ahead and get cardio stabilized because we're at 14 and 8.9% on both of those. I think that is what we needed. There we go. So post pilot syndrome. There we go. Got our eight. Cool. Um, I think we're eligible. Did I get the last upgrade? Most of all three or more caring antivirus. Nope, don't really want to do that. I'm pretty sure I can get her done before all that. Okay, so her issues stem from neuro. What's going to give me the biggest? Let's start that one. Let's run that test. We need one more. We can run the next. Oh, she's had a stroke and a seizure. <laughs> That's not good. I should not laugh about that. I'm sorry. That was inappropriate of me. Okay, cool. I just need to literally... There we go. We can get that running. Prescribe that. Because that one's dropping. I have not done that one. I need nine. I forgot about that. For stroke. Okay. So nine. Go 
got respiratory stabilized. That's good. Seventy-seven days. So, also one thing I want to bring up right now while we're waiting to get points so we can fix this stroke. Um, imagine this timetable is running a lot quicker than that. The minute you go to the ER, there is all kinds of things they will pump in and out of you. Um, oh, hooray, no more symptoms. I have no more symptoms, so I'm pretty sure we're just going to be sitting here, so I'm going to speed it up. Um, intensive care unit, just to... There. Huh. So, I don't think the game anticipated me getting all these fixed in time. So we gotta wait 51 days, but I'm not gonna make y'all wait through that because that's kind of ridiculous. Because uh, pretty much all I'm gonna do is gonna transplant anything that's below, which would be the case. <laughs> if someone really was going into this much failure, as far as organs and such, um, you'd be put on the list way before we ever got to the ER. Um, and people who are terminally ill generally are on hospice. So the amount of stuff that we're doing for this lady it quite, is not realistic at all. And pretty much at this point, I'm, I'm just sitting here putzing around and We'll evolve the muscular system. Is there anything else we can replace on this lady? No. I really, really don't know. Um, here, let's let's go get her to be healthier and get more sleep and meditate. And what other random nonsense can I give this lady? <laughs> this is not how real medicine works, guys, at all. Half the time you give patients stuff to do, they're not gonna do it at all. Like, you hope. I mean, you hope. But, in all honesty, they don't. And at this point, I'm seeing how high of a score I can get for health. We got 16 days left. Is there any other stuff I can kind of get cheapy? Yeah, one more point I can get to is the exercises. Um, that was funny. Sorry. Alright, let's go get exercise. Oh, we got enough for that one too. Oop, I'm missing one. Oops, sorry, the game lagged. Okay, so we are three days from where we need to be. I'm not going to spend any points because I want to get the... Oh, my game is having some difficulty. Because I want to get the extra points. So, one more day, guys. Yay, we kept her alive. Good job. Yay, guys. So proud of us. We kept her alive. Yay. Unused bio points. Health. So, full score. 2854. So, that was just kind of my thoughts on this game. I've enjoyed playing it as a gamer, as a nurse. It, it drives me nuts quite frankly because it's not realistic in any way shape or form um but i hope you all enjoyed the video and i look forward to seeing y'all next time